guys welcome back to my channel um, I forgot my selfie stick so I'll be holding the phone but I'll be paying attention to the road so I just came to vlog about the whole Tamar and Vince situation you guys know that I am a Tamartian so it probably would not be cool at all if I didn't speak on what I thought about it so supposedly Tamar and Vince were at a hotel I, allegedly I believe the Ritz Carlton and Buckhead and they got into an argument, a heated argument or whatever, that turned a little physical. Um, and supposedly, Vince bit off or bit, I'm not going to say bit off, bit Tamar's finger to the point where it drew blood. And allegedly, she called the police. Now, we all know that, you know, these stories are coming from people that work at the hotel, allegedly. Uh, I feel like, mm, kind of iffy about that. I feel like maybe one of the hotel people or somebody that saw it may have called the police. I don't see Tamar calling the police. I'm going to tell you why. The bad thing about being a celebrity is your business is always in the spotlight, in the streets, in the media for everybody else to make an opinion on. However, half of us sitting here know we done popped our husband upside the head just last night. I mean, you're going to fight. You're going to have arguments. Now, I know it should never get physical. And if you've had the privilege of living the last 40 or 50 years of your life and never having to slap a man or never getting pushed by a man, then good for you. But relationships get heated. That's my point. It happens. You get into fight. Now, biting somebody's finger till they draw blood, I don't know about that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that some of us get into shoving matches or push fights or we've slapped our man before we have threw something at him you know not necessarily the man towards us but us women we can get a little rowdy at times too i just feel like we don't know if everything that they're saying is completely true however things do happen in relationships and people end up right back together and regardless of what y'all say or what y'all want to comment below it's the truth i'm not saying a physically abusive relationship I'm saying that couples, you're not going to be together 10, 20, 15, 30 years and look me in my face and tell me y'all never had a heated argument, y'all never had where well, you just threw something at him or y'all never, you know, things get hot, things get heated, you get into it, you know, people say things in the heat of the moment, do things in the heat of the moment that they don't mean, you apologize, y'all end up back together for the next 5, 10, 15 years. Now, that's just my take on the situation. It could, you know, the, f the fact of him biting her and possibly drawing blood, that's a little bit too far. I am straight up going to say that I feel like, whoa, on that, like, whoa. I can see if it said they got into a heated argument at a hotel and was, spot you know, yelling and cussing each other out and whatever, whatever. But if he really did bite her finger to the point of drawing blood, I have no comment for that. I, I really don't know what to say about that. Uh, what I will say is that I feel like they're probably going to end up back together, but we all know that allegedly there's been a lot of rumors about Tamar and Vince splitting up, breaking up, but every time something comes up about them splitting up, breaking up, or divorcing, they come do a video or make a statement that everything is perfectly fine. So, you know, they always shut it down. You know, and lately there's been a lot going on. Um, I think that allegedly there was something going on with Tamar's record label where that, you know, incident, something was going on with that. We know she hasn't put out a CD or a single in a while. And then you remember she got let go from The Real. And the actual show, The Real, did make a statement that part of her letting go was mostly Vince. They did not want to keep Vince. They wanted to keep Tamar, but not Vince. And that was a statement that they allegedly released themselves. Okay? And then you have her getting on with the Steve Harvey show. Remember he announced that he was going to let her on to a talk show or something like that and from my understanding allegedly she hired some of steve harvey's staff to be on her payroll as far as management and handling things so i think that there's been a lot going on with probably vince being removed from a lot of things that he's been in, been involved in for years and years and years i do think that there's probably if all of this stuff is true there is probably a lot of tension going on between them a lot of fighting and a lot of back and forth no i don't feel like it should have got to a physical standpoint but if all of these stories about what they've been going through are true, then it's possible that this incident happened. We have to wait. 
until we actually hear from a valuable source like Tamar Orbitz on the incident. And neither one of them may never, I personally me, if I was famous and something like that happened and it did, and it did, if it actually happened <clears throat> and I wasn't going to leave my husband, I would never make a statement. I wouldn't make a statement. I wouldn't release nothing. I wouldn't talk about it. I'd go on day by day and handle it between me and him. The problem with being famous is you don't get to handle things between you and your significant other. You got to handle it with the whole entire world. And if I was them, I wouldn't say nothing. I wouldn't say nothing. I wouldn't release nothing. Everybody would just have to go by whatever was put on social media because I would work it out with my man behind closed doors and minding our own business. And I would keep it moving. And if anybody ever asked or I ever did an interview where anybody asked about it, I wouldn't come in. I just wouldn't. Because you don't get any privacy when you're famous. And that's why it's hard for a lot of famous couples and stuff to even stay together and work things out. Because it's a billion, gazillion people commenting on what she should do, what he should do, and what they would do. And in all honesty, they probably wouldn't even do that. I mean, really, people always tell my girl, leave him. Girl, do it. And she wouldn't even do that. No. So, I mean, personally, allegedly, if all of this happened, I feel like, number one, the finger biting and everything was completely overboard. I feel like if that's the case, that argument got to level 10 quick. Okay? But I feel like as far as Tamar events, I would not comment. I wouldn't make a statement. I wouldn't release none. I wouldn't put nothing on my Instagram, my Facebook no nothing because it's nobody's business in all honesty it's nobody's business it's none of y'all business what happened in my house last night nobody's business so i mean maybe they feel obligated because they're a celebrity but if i was a celebrity it's some celebrities like queen latifah and, them and stuff you just make assumption about it. we really don't know and that's how i would have my life period um but i'm disappointed Overall, I'm disappointed. I love Tamar, Major Tamar Shin. I I just love her, and I am all for anybody staying together and making their marriage work. So I'm a little disappointed. Rumors allegedly of divorce and splitting up and all this have been going around for a while, and now for this to happen, there possibly is trouble in paradise. But overall, I wish them the best. Um, I wish them to work it out on their own. They don't have to ever come and make a statement or say anything, but I just, I wish them the best. So that's my take on it. Um, you can put your take on it down below. You know, I love commenting and chatting with you guys. I think any situation like this that goes on in any couple's life, whether they're a celebrity or not, is very sad, very upsetting. And I just, I wish them the best to work it out however they see fit to work it out. They don't need my approval or they don't need to come to me with any explanation or anything regarding the situation. So, all right, guys, that's my take on it. I'll see you guys next time.